Yo, we're back at it again. I think I've I've basically just like without saying it decided that I'm gonna do this um, for Mondays and just do it once a week because I'm <laughs> running out of uh, footage and also I don't want to dedicate all of this time making filler videos because like how I see this series is it's like you know. If, if you want to listen to more of me, then you come to this channel and you listen to more of me. And it's like, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy here. I'm literally just talking to myself. I'm just talking, you know, mano y mano, me and you. Like, this is like a parasocial sort of thing where, like, it's... I'm basically just talking to you, the viewer. Like, it, like you listening to this right now, this video is made specifically for you and nobody else. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, um, not gonna yawn, not gonna yawn, not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, even though it is, uh, 12 at night, um, it is Monday, and this video will come up the same day, I'm gonna take a sip of tea already, um, you know, a week has passed, so that's been a lot of things, um, so, Within the past week, I've really started, like, I think the Yumi Nikki video is mostly done. I figured out a solution to the green screen problem. The solution was go onto YouTube and type in how to green screen a shitty green screen or how to chroma key a shitty green screen. So I did that and it worked exactly as I hoped it would. So... We figured out the solution to the problem and we learned a new skill. We learned how to like Lumetri color or something like that. I think that's what it's called. So that's cool. Um, I made, there's a couple bits in the video that I'm not sure if they'll make it to the live version. Um, also since uh, nobody from the main channel is, uh, this, this channel has not gotten any additional subs. Nobody has gone to anybody that like subscribed to my channel from like the valve wrap um has not come to this channel yet i don't think so we've been at 22 subscribers for a hot minute which is fine it's cool um this video or this this channel is like the the cool guy channel the cool secret channel so i don't really mind um i'm doing this because i want to not because i want to uh, get my cloud up um, I think originally the plan for this channel was to uh, get my cloud up by doing V3 content and pandering to Danganronpa community. That was my original plan, and I think it'll still uh, be it'll be like a side hustle probably. Um, but it's it seems like so far the strategy for me is to uh, go all in on the valve uh source community even though like you know i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it mono a mono with you um i think they're kind of like dickheads <laughs> um they are very elitist and it's kind of not that cool but uh you know i really hope i don't get pigeonholed into it but i think the best way to grow on youtube is to pigeonhole yourself for a minute and then eventually be like yeah i'm more than this but also at the same time like you know uncle dane uh he's been making tf2 videos for forever and he's pretty much committed to making tf2 videos which i think is uh that is a gangster move by him i respect that but uh, I don't know if I have it in me to do the same. I mean, like, okay, so here's my plan, right? My plan is Yume Nikki video comes out. Um, probably before Christmas. Don't exit the game. Will I exit the game? I think I, <laughs> I did exit the game. I actually, I forgot I exited the game. <laughs> we really just went next. We really did, huh? <laughs> That's actually really funny. I totally forgot I did this because I recorded this footage like... Can I, can I see how long ago? This is uh, November 30th. 
Okay, so <laughs> I guess we're just gonna re-roll because uh, we went to the despair course. That's really funny. Um, <laughs> so the plan is we make the Yume Nikki video. Um, I want it to come out before Christmas. Um, I don't have anything in mind for Christmas. I just, uh, right now, like, for, for a while, I did it again? Why did I, why did I rage quit again? What the hell? Dude, I, I think my, my reasoning was if I didn't roll a six, cause I want to make it to, uh, that that corner on the normal course as fast as possible okay i guess i'm just going next i'm going to a different course holy shit this footage is so weird um god i i i got distracted again um so the plan is the plan is you may make a video before christmas because like Yumi Nikki was taking up more of my brain space than like Christmas and like the festivities were like I was not thinking about like oh what do I want to get like my parents for Christmas what do I want to get my sister for Christmas um fortunately at this point um all that is taken care of I have gifts for everybody um my sister's gift I'm pretty excited for actually I think that'll be pretty awesome um I think it's cool I hope she thinks it's cool um but yeah, I want to also simultaneously release the uh, Valve Rap sequel because apparently, you know, if you just are a YouTube rapper and you make shitty raps, like people will just eat it up. Um, I'm, I'm no different. I listen to, you know, bad raps all the time. So, you know, maybe I'm part of the problem. It's just human nature. Human, they just they just like the raps. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a second uh fucking valve rap. Hopefully to clear up a lot of uh miscommunication because people were saying like uh you forgot about fucking you forgot about Half Life Alex, like no I didn't, it's in the video and like um, I want to show that, wow, that is a huge roll on those talent fragments, 144, that's huge. Um, I want to show that I don't discredit the value that, like, uh, fucking, uh, Half-Life Alex is. I think it's cool, but, like, the problem is that, uh, we used to get, you know, gold source engine source engine you know super innovative stuff we used to get that on top of a game every year and now we don't get a valve game every year like the hardware is still cool the the innovation is still cool but like man i'm a gamer bro i like games <laughs> i just want to play some good video games that's that's it you know I miss times when when I could count on Valve to make a good video game, and now they just they just be releasing like tech demos and shit. Like the lab, you know, it's fun as like a little toy game, but like it's not, you know, it's not no CS:GO, it's not no Team Fortress, it's not so it's not no Left 4 Dead. Like I'm not playing that for hundreds of I'm not even playing it for hundreds of hours. Not even talking about like a thousand of hours. You know, I might not even play that longer than like 20 20 hours at most you know that's generous for like the lab like that game is just mini games um dota underlords uh cashing in on a trend artifact cashing in on the trend like what happened to like the valve that you know was making some of like the best single player games in the market like what happened to the valve that you know it felt like they were like pro consumer but now it's like it feels like they're trying to get kids addicted to gambling, opening cases and stuff. And it's like, you know, I put respect on the index. I think the index is, uh, you know, uh, let's not even forget about the Vive. You know, the Vive was like the first like, like big baller, you know, VR headset. Like that was a huge push forward for technology. And then like, 
the index is pushing it even further and i respect them for pushing the technology further ahead but like you know what happened to the gaming side you know we chopped liver out here at least that's how it feels you know i i can only hope that with uh you know source 2 is is presumably done like like you know the steam deck is out the index is out i'm sure they're gonna keep working on it but like those teams aren't you know what about what have all the teams that make games been up to like all the hardware guys have been doing their stuff but like what about all the all the game devs all the writers you know they're just working on projects that get picked up and die and it's like you know i thought maybe you know they wanted to make source 2 you know they wanted to finish source 2 and now it seems like source 2 is finished and it's like okay where the game's at then you know I, you know, if you're gonna try and sell me a thousand dollar VR headset, I need a game that I can play for a thousand hours in VR, and that's not Half-Life Alex. like, that's like the point that I'm trying to like, get, get forward to these people, and it's like, you know, I know, you know, if you're buying an Index, you're probably playing VR Chat, you're playing Beat Saber, you're playing other games, there's all these other different VR games you could play with it, but like, you know. For, like, Valve directly, it's like, you got the lab, you got Half-Life Alex, and it's like, and you're trying to sell me this fucking thousand dollar headset? Like, you gotta get your game library up before you try and sell me this shit. Like, it's like buying a PS5. Like, the PS5 ain't got no games, and, you know, now at this point, it's got games, but, like, on launch, it's like, that's how it feels. It's like, it feels like... We're still in like the launch phase where there's not any, there's not enough games with enough, you know, replayability to justify a hefty price tag on this hardware. And while the hardware is good, and you know, I'd like to have it if I could, but like, can I currently justify spending a thousand bones? No. Same with like the Steam Deck. I mean, the Steam Deck is a bit of a different uh, situation because, you know, I got a nice cushy desk and heads, you know, I got all the stuff. I got the nice microphone. I got the, the big tower, two monitors, 10 computers, pedals, drums, cat cam, dog cam, cat this, dog, the bunch of dog shit, dude. It's like, can I analyze fucking NASA's landing speed? <laughs> That's probably really loud. <laughs> in the footage because i've been talking so quiet for the rest of it and i'm not gonna remember to balance that section so i'm sorry for the eardrums that have been blown out but i'm gonna just sip tea you know i don't give a fuck also uh didn't say this yet uh still relevant to the valve rap stuff um a hundred thousand views like that video almost didn't exist, like, <laughs> like, I almost, you know, I sent it as just, like, a voice thing, like, in, in the Discord with my boys, and it's like, you know, that video almost just didn't exist, I almost, uh, didn't make a video out of it, you know, there's, there was no way I could have foreseen it blowing up, you know, in retrospect, it kind of makes a little bit of sense, but, you know, in the moment, it's like, there's no shot. Like, it's just, it's just a shit post. Like, nobody would watch this. But, you know, I mean, I like, I like watching it. Um, but I, you know, that's, that's a, that's a weird thing that I've developed where I, I actually like watching my own content now. Um, I think a lot of it is largely in part because, uh, most of it is just compilations of things me and my friends have said and done so you know it's kind of like watching home movies but uh yeah like i i don't like watching my serious content as much so you know you know you're not gonna catch me watching the back for blood review and uh like while i think the yumi nikki video is good and i say a lot of like cool things and like there's there's some cool stuff going on in it like i think it's a video worth watching for everyone else but like i don't think it's going to be personally one of my favorite videos like i think it's going to be objectively my best video but i don't think it's going to be my favorite video um i don't know 
I've uh, I've asked uh, Vinny to to do some voice work for me. He uh, said that Jules would also be willing to do voice work for me. And uh, I asked Sean. Hi, Sean. I'm sure you're watching this video. You're the only one that actually watches these videos. <laughs> um, I, uh, yeah, I asked, I asked Sean and Sean said he'd do it. Bro, Sean's part is a doozy. Jules got off easy, bro. Jules got, you know, the shortest section. It's like coherent, you know, it's, it's easy to read. Um, Vinny's section, dude, Vinny's section was kind of a, a nightmare because the dude is like Dutch and, uh, you know, while they're nice, um, their English, you know, some of like their, their sentence structure, like leaves a bit to de be desired. So I had to like edit the sentences to make it flow well. And also Vinny will probably have to improvise a little bit to make the sentences flow properly. And that's also a long section. Uh, not as long as Sean's, but still long. Um, I feel like, bro, I think that section is legitimately going to be half the video. Because I also have a part where, um, where everyone is talking at the same time. Like, I posted a Reddit thread, right? And all these people commented on it. And it was, like, super, super, like, humbling to hear all these people's, like, stories because... It's super easy to just, you know, see a name on the internet and you're like, okay, that's just like an NPC. Like, these people have like their own, you know, motivations and stuff. So, oh, we're getting the surgery. This is actually really huge. I think, um, this is kind of what I was gambling on. Um, sorry to just quickly bounce between topics. Um, we had, I think, like a success card, so the surgery went through successfully which is super pogged and uh we really needed that i feel like that's the ticket to uh be able to win i think that's why um kaito was so strong and i think shuichi was so strong because i got the surgery and then i also you know because like the surgery it gives you like 30 levels and like a whole bunch of stats so like it kind of just is is super beneficial it's like the equivalent of like instantly getting like fucking everything <laughs> i don't know uh, you get a lot from every every sort of sort of block so you can divide your time more effectively um anyway fuck okay yeah so everyone was talking at the same time because i voiced over uh their voices and uh, you know all the text is coming across on the screen at the same time and it's like i don't know like you know, it's it's a novel idea to like have it be like all these people, you know, talking at the same time and you know, it's information overload and it's just goes to show like all the different unique perspectives and like ideas and you know, feelings that people have on the game and it's like, you know, it's cool but like I don't know. I I don't love it. I, I honestly don't love the video, but I do think it's a good video, you know. I think I've just been working on it for too long, because I started the script in October, and this is my third time uh, rewriting it, and I've also done so much work to it in the meantime that it might as well be the fourth rewrite between, you know. Honestly, like, what what's kind of upsetting, right, is... um, So, I... I I did all of the the voice acting and wow I really I really gambled it I really gambled uh oh wait actually it wasn't a gamble it was guaranteed if I rolled a four I would have landed right on the goal and the large roll can only roll a four to a six okay I thought I was a, a fucking psychopath for for rolling there but I guess not um Fuck, I need to stop bouncing between the game and what I'm talking about. God, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Okay, I remember, I remember. So, um, the script I wrote. Uh, super airtight, right? Like... I think this, like, if I recorded exactly what I wrote on the script, I would like the video a lot better. But, because my my two alternatives are, or my two options are, 
So I'm recording these on my phone on a tripod in my basement. It looks like I'm about to get beheaded by a terrorist organization. This jank ass setup in this dim ass fucking basement. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, if I have a screenshot or if I have a picture, I'll, I'll post it in here. Um, but yeah, so uh, realistically, I'm not going to post a screenshot because this video has to go up uh, tonight <laughs> and I'm not going to feel like transferring the file to uh, Premiere. So tough shit, <laughs> but um, so I, I only have my phone, so I can't look at my phone for the script. So for the first part of the script, I wrote it down on a piece of paper and I was just looking at the piece of paper, but like that sucks because I don't want the paper to be in frame. So I'd look at the paper, like think like, like remember like two lines, record them and then uh, look at another two lines and then record those. And that was super time consuming to write it all out physically. And it feels stupid to do when I have it all written digitally. So like, I think I need to just like charge a, an old phone or something so I can have a second screen to look at for the script. But like, it kind of sucks. Like my setup kind of uh, sucks. I If I could just record on, um, I'm thinking about it. I, I probably could record in this room just fine, to be honest. But for the video, I wanted it to, to be a little bit fucking is di like derelict, dialect, I don't know, one of the two. <laughs> I wanted it to look kind of grimy and uh, sketchy, which is why I recorded in the basement with the weird ass lighting. Um, I could probably record it in this room if I do a little bit of adjustments, but yeah, being able to look at a screen for the script while I record would have been way nicer because I like the script like um, I'll, I'll tell you how it is because it uh, is currently not um, coming out it's it's doesn't really resemble the original script and it's sad that it, it's that way but realistically I could not it would it would take so long to record the script if I just fucking pardon me it takes so long to record the script if I just fucking kept, you know, um, you know, bouncing between looking at, you know, my phone for the script and looking or and then sitting back down to record. Like the original script was segmented into basically like two and a half parts. Um, super, super genius script, right? Um, the first part, so the game is Yume Nikki, right? Spelled Y-U-M-E-N-I-K-K-I. So the first part was you, you know, you, you load into the game, you play as Matatsuki, you can do this, you can do this. Um, your goal is to, you know, shit like that. And then the second part is me the second part is me my experience um you know that's a short that's like a that's only like um a, like a, a bridge and then it goes into all the people talking about their experiences on reddit all of the interviews and then the video ends so it's you me and then like you know nikki whatever <laughs> But super genius. I never used I or me or any sort of like first person um, fucking like anything in the first person and like the first section of the game. But like in the actual video, it's not like that, which is sad because, you know, I feel like I kind of knocked it out of the park with the script, but I just couldn't. It's It was just too impractical to read off the script you know i don't know it's it's already like all the way together i don't think i'm gonna remake the video but you know it's kind of just unfortunate that it ended up that way 
because I feel like the video could be better. Maybe that's where my uh, feelings of like lukewarm, uh, <laughs> my lukewarm feelings towards this video come from because I feel like it could that's be better already and it's not even out yet. <laughs> Like, I already have it all edited, I have all the visuals, I have all that stuff set up, and it's all it's all in place. All I need to do is just put in the interviews, pretty much, and then I think I, I'd also have to um, re-record the outro, but that's fine. That's, like, super easy to do, because I probably won't do any green screen shit for that. I'll just, I'll just have it mono-y mono. Um... But, I don't know, the temptation to re-record it is there. It exists. I do kind of want to re-record it, but it's okay. I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, but, yeah. So, Yumi Nikki video, still gonna be good. Um, I think it's got some funny, funny moments in it. And it's also, like, a pretty personal, like, uh, serious thing at times. Um, it's, it's solid. It's a solid video. Definitely the hardest I've ever worked on a video, which that title really needed to be taken away from the fucking Fall Guys video. Well, actually, okay, that that title actually goes to um, the VTuber audition video that uh, can never come out, unfortunately. That one has to stay buried forever, unfortunately, because um, I say all of this personal details and stuff because uh, uh, Corporation, and also um, I don't want corporation to uh be mad at me bro i rapped in that video <laughs> you know what i'll uh, uh, i'll uh i'll, I'll re recite the rap because uh the rap was a little bit of a banger um uh, actually no the the rap is cringe i'll just be straight up the rap is cringe i cannot listen to the rap when i watch that video again but I do think it is a very concise version of, like, you know, myself as a person. Um, but... <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do the rap. It goes like... It's like... Uh, do I have the instrumental on me? If I have the instrumental, I'll, I'll put it in. I'll put it in no questions asked. I, I have to. Okay. I'll put it in. Okay, it goes like... One, two, three, when I blast off, mask off. I've been on the ride since I dropped out, mob out. Even when I fail, I ain't taking no losses. I've been seeing big bills and hanging with the big bosses. It's awesome. If you think I'm the shit, wait till I really blossom. When I hit the stage, I want all eyes on me. I've been going in. Shout out to a uh, corporation. <laughs> I can't say, I, I don't feel like I'm at liberty to say which one because, uh, you know, if the opportunity arose, I would still drop everything to join, even though um, I have some some valid complaints um, and criticisms. But I do think it would still be a once in a lifetime opportunity if I got to join VTuber Agency. But alas, uh, I don't think it'll ever happen. And at this point, I'm a little bit too hopeful about my chances as a solo, uh, like a my own independent career um which is kind of scary it's kind of weird to think that you know if i play my cards right i might actually be able to make this shit work like it's kind of uh it's kind of something i've always wanted and as as dumb as like it seems like it really is my end goal like you know people be like at work like oh are you gonna like apply to like you know get a promotion and i'm like nah bro i'm chilling and i'm chilling because this job is just a stopgap for me to inevitably become internet content guy which is like you know it's so stupid and irresponsible to put all of your eggs in this basket but i feel like if you're not willing to fucking say fuck it all you know to just to just hard commit and just yolo gamble on it like i don't feel like you uh have what it takes to to make it but i don't know uh, that could just be you know me talking out of my ass but that's kind of how i feel about it like 
I feel like you have to just say like you have to just sit down and just do it like sometimes you don't really want to do it like I don't want to make this Yume Nikki video but like you know after I make it like I feel I feel good about myself and like you know this shit just lives rent free in my head like you know I'll be going to sleep and then I'm like you know my eyes you know they fucking not burst open they sh they shoot open and I'm wide awake and I'm like <gasps> Danganronpa Jeopardy and then I'm like you know I'm think I'm I'm laying in bed and I'm like let, let's let's pull up some some lyrics some lyrics real quick you know I I I'll, I'll be fucking sleeping in bed and then it's like you know all hands on deck cuz I'm about to get mean cuz I don't really care about the mobile gaming scene you know steam deck you know mobile gaming cuz it's a mob it's like a console you know shit like that like I feel like if you're not wired to like you know you know my brain is just wired to be like all all about YouTube like this is just like what I want it's what I've always kind of wanted and I know it's irresponsible to have you know been gambling on it but you know it's it's potentially coming together you know I can still you know work shit out if it doesn't work but uh there's a very real possibility that it works and it's a little surreal and shocking to me that it really could happen and uh if it does happen I'd love to have all of my friends come with me and be able to offer the opportunity to everybody um but yeah i don't know that's a lot of rambling a lot of rambling that got a little bit uh personal but uh that's me i'm uh i'm you know this is we're going full parasocial now we're you know that that's my new angle uh thanks for watching uh i love you Whoever's watching this, I love you the most. You're the best. Um. <laughs> okay, see you later.